items you will need are a wax pencil. You can get them in white or as provided you will have them in some other color. A number two pencil or mechanical pencil for marking on your cast. A sharpie if available for putting the name or your identification on your cast. Base plate wax to block out undercuts. A number seven wax spatula for use with the base plate wax. Sticky wax. A lab knife, standard buffalo lab knife. Separating medium or separating foil for your cast to separate the acrylic from the from adhering to your model. A model holder which you will not have but I will use. It, uh, it's helpful to free up my hands so that you are, you're able to follow the video better. A turret is an optional item that you can find and use if you're bending orthodontic wire. It's used to make the different size arch forms. Um, one option for you is to use anything around you at your lab bench such as your suction tip. Orthodontic round wire comes in different sizes. We are going to be sticking with 028 mainly so they will give this to you in the dispensary but you will have an individual strand. Heavy duty wire cutters or nippers. These are different from your the, the nippers provided in your kit. They are used to cut heavier gauge wire. The cutters in your kit are more for orthodontic ligature wires. The pliers that you will use are your bird beak pliers and they are the Hugh Freedy 678 304 bird beak pliers. They are non serrated. <clears throat> You'll be using your three prong plier. As you can see there are three prongs and the plier is what does the bulk of the work. You will need a standard straight hand piece, uh, standard carbide burrs, silicone tapered point if you can get them. That helps to smooth out the acrylic. Stiff bristle brush which you can find also in the lab and this reduces acrylic without uh, nicking any wires. You'll be using a dental lathe and most of the lathes at school have the quick chuck. The purpose of the quick chuck is to allow you to work faster without having to uh, stop the lathe when changing burrs. So you have your slow and fast settings, your slow and your fast. So you have your standard egg shaped burr and if you wanted to change it, for example, with a stone grinding wheel, you would stop it and pull it out, and you're able to put the other one in and allow it to continue moving without shutting off the lathe. The good thing about these quick chucks is they are also able to receive the standard type burr with a smaller shank, the 332 shank. So you could stop it, place it in, and use it as you would a uh, hand piece if you needed a smaller burr. So on this tapered side of the lathe you're going to use your rag wheel and this is used for polishing and also you have rag wheels used for pumicing. But the way to, to apply the rag wheel is to just simply put it on as, as far as you can, you don't have to push very hard and turn the lathe on and it'll tighten up on its own. Apply the fabuluster and just run your wheel through it and at that point you can polish up any of your acrylics. This is your pretty standard pressure pot. This one's all inclusive. It has its built-in heating unit element and uh, also the air. It is about six liters and with this you will use it to cure your acrylic. Inside you have a platform and this is where your model will rest on top as you after you have poured your acrylic and ready to cure it and the water level is right below the platform. The temperature is set to 120 degrees and the pressure that uh, is, is set with the regulator approximately 25 uh, pounds per square inch. You'll cure your retainer for about 5 to 10 minutes at that temperature, 120 degrees. Okay, to use a pressure pot you have the lid and the base. You're going to place your model in We'll just bake it 
into the pressure pot. You're going to close the lid, lining up the hash marks. That's to get the proper seal. You'll close it. You'll flip the lock forward and then apply the air. And as you see, the gauge goes up to, in this case, we have it set to 20 pounds per square inch, which will be sufficient for a dense cure. Once you're finished curing after five to 10 minutes, you will release the air, unlock your lid, and open the pressure pot and retrieve your model. This is the ultrasonic cleaner. This is used when you're finished fabricating the, uh, the retainer to disinfect it, to add it into a cleaning solution, which is provided in the, in the lab, and set it for about six to 12 minutes, however long you feel it needs to stay in there. And when it's done, you're just gonna pull it out, rinse it off, and it will be ready to...